Quentin Carter here, InfoWars Nightly News, here with Craig Sawman Sawyer. Uh, got some hot topics we'd like to discuss. Craig, how's it going, man? It's going well. Thanks for having me on, Q. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about some of the breaking news and things that we've discussed earlier today. Let's do it on air. Yeah, man. Well, one of the first things is the pedophilia ring that uh, are, are being rolled up and busted right now. It's uh, It seems like our DOJ is in rapid fire yanking these pedophiles up, and I'm hearing hundreds and some reports even reporting thousands of pedophiles across the country being rolled up already. And I'm so thankful for not only for the victims, but for just the the sanity and the soul of the nation to, to see that that's being cleaned up. I celebrate that now. Absolutely. I'm super thankful that the, the DOJ is, is doing their part to go out and start wrangling these people up. Recently read an article, 750 arrested, um, 28 plus children saved from, um, you know, this, this type of, of sick imprisonment. Yeah. Well, um, I, I hope not only that the, the victims can recover, but that there will be far fewer in the future. And man, I, I really celebrate. I hope the rest of the of our country will join us in celebrating that that development. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I, I hope that as the the DOJ um, rounds these guys up and snatches them up and 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 gives them just punishment for what they're doing, um, I hope that it's a, a lesson and an idea for other people that are out doing this that it's not okay that your turn is coming. That if you continue to do what it is that you're doing, um, it's just a matter of time before your door gets knocked on, whether it's daytime or nighttime. Kicked uh, in. Someone's coming to get you. Like, you can be sure of it. Yeah, I've got uh, friends. In fact, we've got a, a network that we've built. Uh, I won't say the location, but it's the epicenter of human trafficking in the continental United States to break that up. And what we want to do is make a television series about it. Um, not to just entertain people, but to make the public aware so that we can create a non-permissive environment uh, for these these human traffickers for these pedophiles and break up the ring and make it very difficult for them to do what they do. In many cases, they're having, I mean, they're, they're even keeping girls in little dog kennels and they're doing it right under people's noses, sometimes in nice neighborhoods. And uh, the neighbors don't even know why 20 or 30 cars there in a 24 hour period means something. And so what we want to do is show the public, this is what's going on. And in a lot of cases, right under your nose, see something, say something. Right. And we want to heat this issue up and cause it to be very difficult and, and allow a lot of these girls to, uh, to have a better life and young boys too. And, uh, and just break this up. This is evil so, so and this should not be happening. It's not just poor neighborhoods, it's rich neighborhoods. It, it crosses all lines ethnically you know it's, it's white it's black it's everyone yeah. does it um it's financials you know rich people poor people yeah um, yeah well so much of it is the elites too because it gets suppressed right there are people that have done good work and expose a lot of this and it doesn't get seen by the public because the the, the officials are suppressing the the information because they're in on it sadly people enough would be less likely to partake in this type stuff if they saw it on the news on a regular basis if they saw that the bad guys were being caught that people were being prosecuted sent to prison you know yeah. getting just punishment yeah. yeah and you had said that at the end of each show you don't want it to just be a tearjerker where someone feels completely miserable you know at the end of every show we want to show the young ladies and the young men living prosperous lives, getting the therapy that they need we, to move forward. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's part of the story. We want to share that with people as the, as the rescues and the, the rehabilitation. There's there's equine therapy that these, these young people are responding to very, very powerfully and positively. Horses, man, it just seems like a, like a magic combination, the, the way that humans interact with horses and, and, uh, and just watch these, you know, precious little souls recover and and have that that part of the story shared at the end of each episode right, because, because you I think might that's you might important. reach out to someone who has been hurt who has been abused who has been in one of these situations that thinks there's no hope that they're not recoverable and that's kind of the idea is to be able to show that the people that have been through this they're they're still helpable they're still fixable just because you've had a hard time doesn't necessarily mean that that's your life you know yeah. there, there are steps yeah. forward there are people that are recover from this. There's a, a whole network of individuals out there that will help you get better. 
Yeah, man, a lot of good people out there that want to help and are already doing it. Yep. So why not share that with the public and let them celebrate uh, the positive aspect of it and the healing that can come once this evil is broken and, and put down? You know, we've got uh, uh, the International Coalition Against Poaching, and we've got a fantastic team of, of Tier 1 operators and, and intelligence community um, veterans who really can wire any city out and find out who the bad guys are and have a huge impact. So we want to transfer that also into the human trafficking and, and have a tremendous impact and, there. And since you brought up the, the intelligence community, let us, you know, kind of say that I think a lot of times uh, a lot of people get lumped into the term CIA, you know, and, yeah. and it and it's, has a super negative connotation right now. Um, I want to take this time while I'm on here to say that, you know, I have friends and family in the intelligence community. And when I say family, I mean, you know, guys that I have served next to and spent time with that I would kill or die for in an instant. Um, they're not bad people at all. They are doing God's work. Without them, there is, you know, no list, no shortage of atrocities that that would happen to the United States or the United States people if these guys weren't out there doing what they do, you know. So I just want to clarify that not everybody's lumped into that same little group. You know, Q, I hear people out there speaking about the intelligence community, the CIA, so forth, and they have this really negative image in their mind of, of perhaps part of our intelligence community that has been abused or used for nefarious reasons. And, right. and you and I both know a lot of people that are doing God's work there that are, are patriots to the core, and they, they're... They're risking life and limb to to secure us. Heroes, literally heroes Absolutely. risking life and limb. Keeping us safe in the United States of America. And so to the people that have heard so much of the negativity, I, I would say this. What I would like to, 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 to hear happen is President Trump, because he is our elected official to carry out our will of the people, he can direct his own. Uh, or appoint his own directors to each uh, branch of the intelligence community and set his commander's intent with, hey, director, here is my intent. Here is our new charter. It is is what you're supposed to have been doing all along to act in, in the good faith of the, the American people. And you, I will I will hold you accountable and you are to clean up whatever might be wrong with your agency and get back on track. That's right. And so that the American public can can regain uh, confidence in so many good people that are working in our IC for us. Basically, Trump needs to assign responsibility and then hold people accountable. 100%. That's it. I think the, the American people have lost a faith that needs to be restored. Uh, understand there are good people out there doing good work. Um, they're in the shadows. It's kind of the, the whole silent professional, um, you know, the work doesn't stop because no one's talking about it. Correct. Still out there doing yeah. stuff every single day. Yeah. It's quiet because it needs to be. That's what's more effective. Okay. And that's, you know, part of that is is we don't want to be quiet anymore. We want to talk about this veteran initiative. It's a, a call to action, right? So part of me calling you here is is, you know, let's reach out, let's talk, let's let's be vocal, let's stand up for what's right, let's, you know, support the guys that are in charge. You know, there's an old saying, you know, lead, follow, or get out of the way. Yeah, man. Right? Well, yeah, man. Right now it's kind of time to follow. Yeah. We're following the boss, but we want to lead people in the right direction. And that's right. what's big for me right now. That's what I, you know, my vision behind this and having you guys come and, and talk and do whatever, that's exactly what I want to do. I yeah. want people like you and I to lead people that are on the sidelines and maybe not interacting as much. Um, I want those people to come out and feel safe and be proud of who they are. You know, put your right hand over your heart you know, say the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, listen to Star Spangled Banner, be proud of having an American flag in front of your home again. Yes, together we are what we can't be alone, That's a it. free country. That's it. And what's wrong with that? So I think we need to get happy about it and celebrate what we've got and beat away those that would tear it down. Totally agree. Yeah, man. You know, Craig, I want to thank you very much for coming out, brother. I love you. You know that. Thank you so uh, much. This has been a fantastic back, experience. Please do. I will. Um, for more reports just like this, Tune in to Infowars.com.